This week on Tips, Tricks, and Practice Routines, we're going to discuss how to throw a flat bag. We have had a lot of people since our, probably one of our first videos, ask us to send pictures, do, do close-ups, really explain how we throw, how we hold the bag, how our release is, how do we achieve a flat bag. So we have totally two different styles of how we hold the bag and how we release. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into this and we're going to start with how she holds the bag and releases the bag coming up next. everyone you know everybody has their own comfortable way of doing things for myself I always do one of these make sure the beads are in my hand every time and like that I have the corner of the bag in between my fingers um, where's your thumb placement right in the middle of the About bag. The middle of the bag yep and then the rest of my fingers are in the middle of the bag on the other side on the other side so if you look at it's all the same and yes I pinch it just like you see Perfect. So now that you've seen how she holds a bag, I'm going to show you how I hold the bag. Okay. Basically, how I hold the bag is very similar in a way after we looked at it, is my thumb is pretty close to the center just a little bit shy of it and then my grip is in the center on the back side only difference is I don't do this with the with the bag uh, but the other part I do I kind of shake it a little bit to where I kind of create a handle it's about a third of the bag now I have a handle which helps me get the spin on the bag the, the way that I would like it to spin that's how I hold the bag kind of to, to pull it all together, some of the things to kind of pay attention to in the video, uh, some thoughts of ours of how to, uh, to achieve what you're wanting to do ultimately, is which is to a flat back. So some thoughts. Well, I think that we both would agree that throwing a flat bag has a lot to do with how you release it um, and your follow through. And if you notice in our videos that both of us, um, every throw, leave our arm out and it's flat um, and that is very key to having a flat bag um, I mean it's, if you if you were to release you know sideways or up and down your bag is gonna fly up you know up and down uh, I think it's very crucial to um, to release flat and then again go back if you have to you will see that it is flat and out there and I think that uh, is a big part of throwing a flat bag and it helps with spin too Helps you uh, be able to throw a, a, a bag that spins more, which is uh, another key way to uh, be able to throw a, um, a flat bag. Okay. A couple thoughts on my end is because we are different types of throwers, and I'll, she'll tend to do a little bit of a flick of the wrist. More like a frisbee. A little. Very, it's very slight, but she does do that when she releases. Now, I do not do that. Um, but there's a couple things of what she did say about when you finish, your hand should be facing up. Your bag should be flat and your palm of your hand is facing up. Facing up. And to, to, to do that from my position, mine's like that the whole way because of the way I throw. But if you're coming from the side, you actually will bring your wrist down and you'll rotate it up to where your palm 
And what I do is I gently flick my fingers open to get that spin. I do not flick my wrist, I just flick my fingers. And that does that, it just creates that. Now if I need to put more spin, I'll do a little flick like she does, which is natural, which creates such a beautiful flat bag. Uh, so those are kind of the things that we want to look at, or that you'd like to look at through the videos, is just zone in on those, you know, how the release is, how the fingers release, that should help you. And feel free at any time to reach out to us uh, through U.S. Cornhole, through the video YouTube page, or even our own uh, personal uh, Cornhole Group page. And as always, we want to thank all of you for tuning in and requesting those videos. Thanks, guys. Thank you.